What you are seeing here is completely controlled inside of OBS. Everything is being rendered inside of OBS and it's all completely wireless, all thanks to the Obsbot Tail Air camera. So Obsbot have sponsored this video and they sent out not one, not two, but three of these cameras. Obviously they're all darted around right now as you saw from the demo. And I'm gonna show you in this video how to set up a multi-cam setup using the Obsbot Tail Air and kind of inspire you on what you can do with it. So I use the Five Nights at Freddy's uh, kind of set piece to, to give you a little bit of inspo on what you could do with this. And like I say, everything is wireless. These are all running on battery right now, which is incredible. Just to let you know, I'm gonna skip like the setup process of the cameras and stuff like that because I have already done a video that was sponsored as well by Obsbot and I'll leave that link down there and up here just so if you need to know how to set it up and get it working inside of OBS and all that, that is all there for you. So without further ado, let's just take a look at what this bad boy can actually do. So the Obsbot Tail Air is literally your all-in-one camera. It's got specs to absolutely boast as well, up to 4K resolution, which is just nuts, and it's great in low lighting conditions. Not that you probably saw from the demo because of all the different effects that I had on there, but each room, especially the bathroom, was completely pitch black apart from a little bit of light coming in. Obviously, AI is a big thing. AI is all jam-packed in this, so if you want to do tracking of a person or something like that, that is totally doable as well. It even has pet tracking as well. So if you get your dog in here, you're all Gucci. Like, hopefully I've got some B-roll of my dog and my dog was playing ball. If not, well, just pretend there's a dog here. Woof, woof. And obviously the camera has so many inputs and outputs. So to do the wireless setup that I was doing right now, I was just using NDI. So everything's just connected to my network, which doesn't have to necessarily be the network. Uh, and everything's just connected straight into OBS just using NDI. You will need an NDI key though, which you can get from the Obsbot website as well. And a reminder, any purchases, please use my link down below because that will help support the channel. Another one of the accessories as well, if your network's not doing too great, is a USB-C to Ethernet adapter, which has also got charging throughput as well. So if you're having issues wirelessly, there's even more connection alternatives that you can use. And obviously I go more in depth in my other video about all the specs of the camera, so I will leave that down below. But before we get into the OBS setup that I've just done, I do want to mention as well that these, since these are completely wireless, you can actually use these out and about. So when you're on the go and you want to film something even multi-angle with multiple camera setups, you can totally do that. You can stream directly from a hotspot on your phone using their app, boom. Control the cameras, change angles, everything that you can do and you just see that I'm doing inside of OBS, you can do mobile on the go. But obviously my channel is aimed more at OBS usage and how to get the most out of OBS and your content so you can be at the top of your game. So we're gonna focus on that, all right? So I'm gonna show you my Five Nights at Freddy's setup. It's pretty cool, but it's actually quite simple and minimalistic. I'm just using OBS and I'm also using Streamerbot as well to just control the different changes. So I've only got three scenes in OBS. I've got the actual camera inputs, which you can see here. We've got one, uh, well that's three. We've got two, and we've got one. So these are all on little transition switches, as you can see. And I'm using a special little script that automatically turns off any other camera in there. This is a free script that Exceldro created. Uh, I'll leave all the download links down below, but it's called the Source Toggler. And basically you can set a scene or group just there and it will make sure that only one source in that scene or group can be active at once, which is so useful for doing something like this. So I don't need to use multiple different scenes and swap between scenes. It was just one scene and everything was happening around it. So all these inputs here, as you can see, if I go into them, you've got NDI webcam video one and I've got them set up to two and three as well. And as you can see, they are low latency and just, I mean, you can't really see too much, but yeah, as you can see, low latency. Uh, I have got the uh, resolution down a little bit just for the effect that I was going for, uh, but obviously you can tinker with all the settings as you would do, and I've talked about in my previous video. The next scene I've got is the actual effects, which is what it looks like. So this is what it looks like normally, and then we've got the effects just here. And I've just got a bunch of different filters in here, to, to skip frames and all, all that kind of stuff. I'm actually doing a video on this plugin very soon, the how to get this kind of effect. So make sure you are subscribed because 
that you don't want to miss it. It's probably the most powerful plugin and it's not physically out yet. It's in early access. And a lot of you might know already what it is, but don't spoil it for the for the viewers. It's there's a video coming soon, don't worry. And then last but not least, I've actually got the camera scene. So this is just made of a text source which I've not um, animated or anything like that. So you could change it to different times automatically over a set amount of time. Uh, I've not done that as I'm just doing a concept for you guys right now to kind of inspire you to, to move away on your stream and do whatever the heck you want because you'll make it look amazing, right? Uh, we've got a camera border, which is just a color source. It's just a color source, this border that you see here. It's a transparent color source, as you can see. Like if I crank that up, you'll be able to see Oh, that's, 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 that's not right. But it's just a color source that I'm just going to set to zero. And I've set a border filter on it just here by adding extra pixels and setting it to white. So I've got a nice little square box, which is, it's a nice little handy hint to, if you want to do outlines and things like that. I could have built this map just here inside of OBS, but I chose to just create an image. And this image is literally just that. So it's got cam one, cam two, cam three, and I just designed it in Photoshop or whatever. It didn't even need, I mean, you could have you could have done this in OBS. I've just shown you how to do it in OBS. You could have made the entire thing in OBS, uh, but I just wanted to, to make it minimalistic. And then I've also got this camera selection background, which I've just put be underneath the image just there. So it looks like each one is highlighted with a little gray box. And all we're doing to change the trigger is changing the color source, which I'll show you that because we're doing that inside of Streamerbot. And then we've actually got the camera underneath. And that's how simple this setup is. And I've got some shortcuts to change between different cameras. We've got camera one, camera two, camera three, and everything's just automating between them, which is cool. But utilizing something like the OBSBOT remote, I can select, uh, I've got two cameras set up right now on it. You can have up to three. And I can just move to camera, uh, I've actually set these up as the wrong numbers. Camera one is this camera. And now, as you can see in real time, I'm controlling. I can zoom like this. Obviously I've got the, the frame skip on right now, but obviously if I change scene just here, you'll be able to see. Yeah, buddy, pretty cool. So I can control everything just like so. And the other camera's in a completely different room, right? I can switch to camera two, and away we go. So as you saw in the demo, I was actually moving between these cameras, zooming in, zooming out, making it freaky. Obviously, there's a lot of references in my son's toys just here, isn't there? And a lot of people keep sending him toys, like this one just here, which is really cute. A little Sonic, and obviously Mr. Blobby at the back. Who's your favorite? Put it down in the comments below. So that's the use of the remote. You can actually do that as well inside of the app, which is really nice on the uh, PC, which I talk about how to set that up in my previous video. We've got access to the different cameras just here, and we can obviously move around just like I was doing with the remote, but it's a lot easier with a remote because I could be absolutely anywhere in the room. Uh, as you can see, it's in a different room, the other camera. This is my son's bedroom, uh, which is super creepy. It's just, it's just weird, all right? Really nice minimalistic way of doing it. And then all the effects just bring it together. Like It's like the chef's kiss, isn't it? It's just beautiful. Uh, so let's look at the streamer bot part of it. So if you don't know what streamer bot is, it's a really cool uh, free tool. It's a bot. It's literally you're streaming everything. If you're, you've been on the channel before, I use StreamBot for everything. I do a lot of these tutorials live on Twitch. So go to twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy to find out more about StreamBot and all that other jazz. Uh, I'm there. I'm, I'm a cool guy. I answer questions as well. So if you've got any questions about anything to do with the OBSBOT stuff, come and ask me live. Uh, so we've created just three different actions here. Cam 1, Cam 2, and Cam 3. And they all do the same thing, which is really easy. It, it does the same thing, but different. Yeah, that's a good way of explaining it. So under cam one, we set the camera selection colors. So that is just this thing here. So inside of this, I've got, um, because we, this is gonna be for when cam one is activated, we've got set color source to green, which we've got there, and set the other two to this gray color. So camera two and camera three background go to a gray color. And then all we do, because we've got that script on in the background, 
we just turn source visibility state on for camera one. And I've got that set up to a hotkey of control one and it'll just change to camera one. And then cam two and cam three are exactly the same as well, except it just changes the color source to cam two being the green one and cam two is visible. And obviously by default, it turns the other cameras off as well. And that is it. We've got this really advanced looking multicam setup as easy as that. Obviously there is a lot more that we can do with this as well, like make it more into a mini game. I didn't want to give you guys any, any frights on the channel or anything like that. You could add jump scares in, make this accessible for people via channel points as well. So make it completely interactive. It's super easy to do. I've got tons of tutorials across my channel for showing you how to do that with Streamerbot and even other pieces of software like Sammy, Atom, all that jazz. But I'm just a Streamerbot guy. And obviously this is just the, the, the tip of the ice, really. There is so much more that you could do with this with multicam setups. And like I say, you can do this on the go as well because their mobile app is really in depth with a lot of customization for the cameras, a lot of different, like I say, ways to connect the cameras as well. And just doing a mobile live stream with cameras these powerful with multicam angles is just wild. Think of all the music gigs out there and things like that, you can just produce your own music videos live at the touch of a button. It is crazy and these are phenomenal. Like I say, Obsbot did sponsor this video, so please, if you wanna support my channel, consider doing a purchase using the affiliate links below as it will go a huge way to support me. If you've got any questions, bang it all in the comments below and hopefully I've left all the links there for you. Enjoy, put your rock over the stone and I'll see you soon. Much love.